West Ham certainly settling to their task, the quicker of the two teams. Cotty, McAvenny, the only player in the middle. Cotty's found him, no, not quite. Dickens has put it wide. A sweeping West Ham raid again. Cotty's cross quite for McAvenny and again it was Alan Dickens sensing the scoring opening as the ball dropped his way. Liverpool having survived those two early scares. With much more rhythm about their play now. Another pinning West Ham back. Until they concede a free kick through Ian Rush. Ward's header was guided well for Dickens. Now McAvenny, an advantage played, right on the edge of the area of the challenge. Cotty! No goal! And Tony Cotty in particular will be frustrated by that. He's not scored this season. He's been substituted in the last two matches. He badly needs a goal. He thought he'd got one then. Coming in in typical West Ham style at the near post. Smashing it in, off Grobola, the linesman was flagging, and my impression was that he was absolutely right. It was Cotty who stabbed it on, and McAvenny has scored! It's a disaster for Liverpool. Grobola will have to take a share of the blame. He came off his line, and the ball rather held up and didn't skim on into the penalty area, as he was hoping, and Frank McAvenny hadn't given it up, and just rolled it into the unguarded net. Rush, cleverly done. Walford was tight on him. Nickel, using the full width of the pitch. Johnston, they're level. And Craig Johnston, who feels that he's only a makeshift striker, shows an instinct for goal again. It was Steve Nicol away on the right, who swung the ball in, and Johnston catapulting himself forward. 1-1. Here is Johnston, looking for another. I'm sure West Ham would love to see Alan Devonshire in possession more in the Liverpool half. He's found Dickens. Here's Ward. McAvenny going in. 2-1. He's beaten Grubble out to it again. He can only reflect as McAvenny and West Ham celebrate. Mark Ward curled the ball into a channel that both Grobola and McAvenny tried to fill. It was McAvenny who got there first, and the ball ends up in the back of the Liverpool net. And Upton Park has a, a new favourite. Certainly a test of West Ham's nerve and resolve. Three defeats in four games prior to today, remember. And Mulby, well saved. Parks dropping sharply to his left. A skimmer from Jan Mulby. Ward miss kicks. Kennedy not so wasteful. Johnston's flick. Nichols cross, and Stewart guided it only as far as Ronnie Whelan. Mulby wants it, and he's flashed it wide, and in any case, there was an offside. It wouldn't have counted. Mark Ward back in the big time now. Really, he is thoroughly enjoying the second chance that West Ham are giving him. But maybe a second chance for Liverpool. Whelan!
twice they pull back the lead. And Ronnie Whelan, in the end, it was a straightforward header. But how often Liverpool do make it look so simple.